Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and as you can see well 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 if you don't have another parcel from our friends engine DIY so this should be exciting to see so I'm definitely been out of the loop for a little second and um, please f forgive me for the lack of updates um, I've been incredibly busy the last few weeks, um, a lot of backlogs to get by, but I'm here again with another video, so let's get this bad boy on. See, it is packed in a very captivating box by our friends Enjo Moore. Now, I'm quite familiar with that brand and they've been online for a good few years now they they have a wonderful selection of engines that i would just love to have on my shelf <laughs> but time's money and money's time so what we have here is a sterling engine from the looks of the box and as it says the sterling principle the sterling engine out engine outputs power through a cycle of cooling compression heat absorption absorption and expansion of the working medium. So I've already explained that in my previous videos. Let's see what it says here. Holiday technology gifts, science, education. So it's for all fans who are a fan of mechanical gifts. So let's get this open. handed right here so please bear with me okay so that's came packaged a lot of uh polystyrene foam and you are first greeted with a user manual so this is the engine i've chosen as you can see in the photograph and here's the instruction manual as you can see, it tells the story of the engine's history, which has been invented by Robert Sterling in 1816. So the engine has taken after the inventor's name. And here's the instructions, which I've already explained with you guys in my previous videos. So for any first time engine owners, this is a decent instruction manual. Put off came with okay more protective foam. Let's get this out of here if I can with one hand. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so it's finally on our table and we have our methylated spirits ready to fill up the alcohol lamp. So if we just carefully start by filling. really should be enough right there again you don't want to overfill because alcohol is quite funny in nature it doesn't burn off with a stable flame the moment you light it so after a few minutes it will start raging outwards as it warms up so you want to leave enough room for expansion for when it warms up As soon as this is a small, tiny, I wonder if I can get that in more. I've misplaced my small, um, hold on a minute, if I could just use this instead. No, that's still not holding. Okay, jump cut. So I thought this engine was quite pretty and I appreciate the polished side, shined surface. I can almost, I can almost see your reflection. Well, you can't quite see my reflection through that, but it really does have that rainbow effect on the surface. 
that would really glints nice underneath an incandescent bulb. <laughs> so I just got that warm up. And I like the aluminium finish. Again, it goes well with the rest of the silver. <laughs> okay, I wonder if that's ready to go. I would have inserted graphite into this, but I'm just a bit impatient right now. So let me just give it a go. Let's see. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh my god. Well, I've never seen anything so spiteful in my life. <laughs> I've never seen anything so spiteful. Now please ensure this is literally my first ever time running this engine. So you guys are experiencing it the first time as I am. I've not seen any, or barely any, well I don't recall seeing any online videos of this particular one. If you haven't, well you're seeing it now. <laughs> It's very impressive with how little alcohol it consumes in that small bowl. It's gone so fast it's, it's almost blowing it out. Let's <laughs> fucking stop it with my finger. Hmm. Okay, so it only goes one way as it's a sterling engine. There you go. I really am impressed with this one. I'll be very honest, it's it's a very exciting one to watch go. And the flame. As you, as you know with alcohol, it's a very cool burning flame. You can almost put your hand right up to it. <laughs> Don't do that, but... <laughs> That's how cool burning the fuel is. And with minimal use, it's, it's keeping this machine running. Okay, so I've blown that out. So what do you guys think? Is it a mean bean machine? Or is it just a curious toy to see on the shelf? Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> Again, this video has been sponsored by Engine DIY. Um, again, I thank them for sending me this engine in for review. I will leave a link down in the description where you can get your 10% discount. I will run a promotion on this engine.
so yeah, a another wonderful addition to the to the family as well. Um, if you've liked this video, then hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you keep up to date with my videos that I'm uploading. I know it's, I know things have been a bit infrequent with me since I've <laughs> since I've started, but I'm. My ambition is to grow my channel and to make uploads more frequent and to eventually diversify out into other areas as well. But this will remain one of my newfound hobbies. Um, I love collecting ornaments, engines, lamps. Um, I, have, I have another video coming up very shortly with my Aladdin lamp, so stay tuned with that. I have another engine on the way, which I'm really looking forward to for review. Um, this one just looks cool. This is very cool. It's very shiny. It's very aggressive looking. <laughs> and it's very aggressive sounding as well. So, yeah, I can't, cannot go wrong with that. So thank you very much, Engine DIY. And thank you again for the continued support. So, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, people.